Join us today as we take a look at Larry's latest. This is Flamingo Fruit Fight by Bell's Brewery. Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. You're a robot. Yeah, I had to do it like 50 times, but oh well. Maybe we should show the outtakes as the intro. Yeah. So this is Larry's latest. I kept saying Larry's latest sour. Um, and fruit tart flight. Tart fruit ale brewed with passion fruit and lime. It's fruit fight. Um, package date is one ten nineteen. It also says it on the bottle. Oh, it does. Uh, no ABV is on the bottle. It's 5% right here. Oh, well, it is on the bottle. Brad's having an off night. Yeah. He just had the most expensive burrito I've ever bought in my whole entire life. Whatever. Chipotle is outrageous. Um, Cap does have a flamingo yeah. with passion fruit and limes on it. That's exciting. This is exciting. How much was the six pack? $9.34 plus tax. I bought six because why not? This is a fruit beer, not a sour. That's it what they tell me. Looks like a New England IPA to me. Why do you have to be so argumentative today? Let's just go with what we're given and let's have gonna... an exciting time. Small and some medium bubbles in there, mainly small. It is like a yellowish type head. Ooh. White, cream, yellow head. Popping, popping, popping. Yep. I have almost two fingers of head. Jessica's is dissipating very quick. Bubbles on the side are compact like bubble wrap. Color is orange juice, hazy, can't see through it at all. I would say it's it's pulp free orange juice. Yeah. No bubbles or floaties that I can see as of right now. Smell. Passion fruit because it smells like stinky feet. Citrus. It's it's light though. It's a light Citrus. a light scent. The aroma is light. Oh, I get big passion fruit. Yeah, but it's not like I don't think it's hit you in the face. Yeah, it, it, it like you can definitely pick out that it's passion fruit in this beer. Yeah, we're well, supposed to. And I guess I I would say citrus. I wouldn't say lime. Mhm. Mm without knowing it. I bet it's gonna taste like lime though. Okay, let's that's, go ahead and taste. That's my guess. I like this. This I could drink in the summer. This I could drink March through October and have zero problem with it. It's very light. It's not tart. Yeah. On a scale of tartness from one to 10, 10 being the tartest of them. Tart I would go with a three. I would go with a three. It's not tart, but it, it tastes it's, good. It has tart. Don't say it's not tart because if you say it's not tart, that means there's no tart. It's got tartness. Okay. It's a three out of a 10 <laughs> on the tart scale. This, I don't taste too much lime and that's okay by me. If anything, I I'm think there's that. a little bit in the back. I think that that passion fruit, fruitiness takes over most of the drink mm -hmm. with a little bit yes. of tartness, then maybe some lime in the back. If anything, I would say like a mixture of lime and lemon. Like it's not like the only goes to show. Mm -mm. Goes up. Yeah, no, that is, that's, lime. that's the lime I'm thinking about. Yeah, but I don't want that in this. This is everything I ever wanted out of a Bell's fruit beer. Nice and smooth. Um, a little bit more than light on the body, I would say. It's like halfway between light and medium. It just tasted delicious. It's, oh, my nose itches. Um... It almost makes me want salt. Okay. So. I would not want salt mixed with the flavor of this. 
I know, but I, I, I'm guessing it's the citrus, obviously, maybe that lime. Maybe I am picking up a little bit more, mm. but that passion fruit is so powerful in there that it does cover most of it, but I'm, I'm thinking it's a goza and want oh. some sea salt in it. No, this makes me ready for warm weather. It's... It's very. It's interesting that they released this now. Well, I know it's not even again, summer. Because again, we're in Michigan. It's winter. It's very cold. Um, and they just released it Tuesday. Yeah. Right. Um, but I am very pleased with this. I would drink this over and over and over. The aftertaste I'm getting is a passion fruit with probably lime mm -hmm. like it's a big citrus and maybe that's where i'm like yeah i don't I taste salt. the lime and that that's for me i feel like if we're gonna do lime we have to do lime with one well because that's how you do lime in a in a beer yeah. um otherwise i don't think i want lime in my yeah. beer to be honest i don't, I don't so what are you giving this out of five 4.75 Okay. I yeah, it's the first beer you drank in like a week since yesterday. Whatever. <laughs> it is, it's so, the problem is, I know it's 5%, but it's so easy drinking. Yeah. So easy well, drinking. Well, it's that like, down so easy. Fruity, it's like a fruity, refreshing drink. It's but, not like one. It is one. But I, I think you have to like pomegranate. What? Or passion fruit. Sorry. Pa Are I, you here today? I was looking <laughs> at the, the side and I was it's thinking... A, it is a very, very nice flavor of passion fruit, yeah. though. It's not um, it's, rotten. It's not stinky. Yeah, it is. The smell no, is stinky. It's it is. No, it's not. No, it is not. Yeah. I would not... No. No, this is not is. Brad's type of beer, so we're going to get a little no, bit cranky. No, I, I would go with a 4.25 out of 5, and I would probably drink this in the summer. Yeah, if you could have some that you could find. Well, right. It, <laughs> yeah, if you probably, well, I don't know how much they put out. It was a limited release, um, but I would say if you're into the fruit beers and you like passion fruit, even to like a halfway point, I would pick one up and try it because it's, I think it's done well. Mm -hmm. I want more of the lime in there. Because you know it's to come it says, out. It yeah. Says, I do good. get some in the aftertaste, but I want more. I, I, th I do believe it's in there, but that passion fruit is just too strong and takes over most of it. Yeah. Like, I'm guessing they could have left lime off and people would have said, okay, well, I'm getting some citrus because of the hops they used or something like that. It could be. I'm just saying that I have been waiting very patiently for a really good fruit beer from them. Um, and I did not like the Larry's latest sour ale last year. Was mm -hmm. it la I think it was last year. I didn't like it at all. And I wanted to so bad. So, because they don't have fruit beer. You know, the, the raspberry one that they had, I didn't like. You and could go back and buy a whole case of this. And save it until July, and it would still be good because it's six months. Oh, you best believe I'm going <laughs> to. You best believe I'm going to contact those gentlemen at the general store. I wonder if I can use my gift card in the general store because I got a gift card for Christmas. Think I could use it on beer? No, I'm just saying just that I, I know it's Bells, and I know everyone thinks I got a love affair with Bells. But I, There's a lot of crap in there, too. I do. There's yeast or whatever. This is very, very tasty, and um, I am happy yeah. to finally have a fruit beer for my friends at Bell's, even though it's not going to be a staple in their lineup. Right. I'll deal with this, and I'll take it, and yep. I'll like it, and... What did you What did you have to say about it? You said 4.25? Yep. Good for you. Yep. I think... It was worth the wait. Yep. Patiently waiting for some fruit beer. <laughs> and then, the, you know, it's still like stout time. Right. It's still thick, dark but beer time. But. Bells did uh, post that Smitten's coming back. Smitten is coming back. And I know James is excited and so is Katie because yep. both of them have and said it's a favorite. pool time. 
Pool time's always out. I still have pool time in my refrigerator from last year. She doesn't drink it. I don't. The thing is, like, you have to buy, you buy, like, a, you know, case of it or whatever, and you drink it all that weekend, and then you're like, okay, we're going to move along. (laughs) Yeah, because then I'm, like, pool timed out. No pun intended. Yep. It's all right. Yep. Cool. Good stuff. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.